Dear students, good morning everyone all. Today we will discuss about early Tamil society and culture. Ninth standard history, third lesson. Early Tamil society and culture. <coughs> what are the learning objectives of this lesson? First one is say, to know about Tamil literary, archaeological, epigraphy and then non tamil text sources for the study of the early tamil society then thinai based life society kurunji mullai marudam neidal palaino same thing land based thinai based life in the society of tamil people to know about the literature politics society economy urbanization during that period okay come to the introduction so you know very well tamil civilization as far we have seen that it begins at least three centuries before the common era okay as seafaring people tamil traders and sailors established commercial and cultural link across the seas and merchants from the foreign territories i mean the foreign land okay other countries also visited the tamil region the resulting cultural and mercantile i mean the trade activities and internal developments led to urbanization urbanization you know very well uh, maybe the rural places has to be converted for the cities like that <coughs> that is called as urbanization in this region towns and ports has to be created coins and currency system came into circulation written documents were produced tamil brahmi script was adopted to write the tamil language classical tamil poems were composed okay so what are the sources for the study of the early tamil society what are the sources as we have seen or which is available for that okay from there we are having four sources are there first one is say classical tamil literature then epigraphy which is nothing but inscription archaeological excavations and the material culture non tamil and foreign literature okay among that first one classical sangam tamil literature classical tamil sangam literature what are the sources <clears throat> from there how to learn about the early tamil society see the classical sangam collection that is corpus it consists of tholkapiyam 18 mel kanakku and 18 keel kanakku 18 mel kanakku which is nothing but 18 major works and padinam kil kanakku which is nothing but 18 minor works <coughs> and the five epics okay in tamil just we have studied about that among that first one is the tholkapiyam tholkapiyam attributed to tholkapiyar is the earliest written work on tamil grammar <coughs> apart from elaborating the rules of grammar the third section of tholkapiyam also describes the poetic conventions that provide information about the tamil society or tamil social life okay the text of 18 mel kanakku include patu paattu that is 10 idols okay 10 idols or idols and ettu thogai eight anthologies this text are the oldest among the classical tamil text the text of 18 kil kanakku belong to a later date okay ettu thogai oh, what are the things available for that that is natrinai kurundogai paribadal padithrupattu padithrupattu and then aingurunuru kalithogai agananuru purananuru okay then patthu paattu what are the items available for patthu paattu tirumurugattu padai porunanutru padai perumbanantru padai sirumbanantru padai mullai paattu நெடுநல் வாடை மதுரை காஞ்சி குறிஞ்சி பாட்டு பட்டினப்பாலை மலை படுகடம் ஓகே தென் 
பதினெண்டு கீழ்க எயிட்டீன் டெக்ஸ்ட் எலாபரேட்டிங் ஆன் எத்திக்ஸ் அண்ட் மாரல்ஸ் ஆஃப் த தமிழ் சொசைட்டி த ப்ரீ எமினென்ட் ஒர்க் அமாங் தீஸ் ஈஸ் த திருக்குறள் கம்போஸ் வை திருவள்ளுவர் யூ நோ வெரி வெல் ஃபேமஸ் ஒன் ஓகே இன் தௌசண்ட் த்ரீ ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் தேர்ட்டி கப்லெட்ஸ் திருக்குறள் கன்சிஸ்ட் கன்சிடர்ஸ் கொஷின்ஸ் ஆஃப் மார்ட்டாலிட்டி மாரலிட்டி சாரி மாரலிட்டி அண்ட் தென் ஸ்டேட் கிராஃப்ட் அண்ட் லவ் ஓகே அகத்துப்பால் அகத்துப்பால் இஸ் அண்ட் ஓகே பொருட்பால் அறத்துப்பால் பொருட்பால் காமத்துப்பால் ஓகே ஃபைவ் எபிக்ஸ் விச் இஸ் நோனஸ் யூனோ வெரிவல் சிலப்பதிகாரம் மணிமேகலை சீவக சிந்தாமணி வளையாபதி குண்டலகேசி ரைட் தீஸ் ஆர் த சோர்சஸ் எஃபிகிராஃபி விச் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் ஸ்டடி ஆஃப் இன்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் இன்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன்ஸ் ஆர் டாக்குமெண்ட்ஸ் ஸ்கிரிப்டட் ஆன் ஸ்டோன் காப்பர் பிளேட் அண்ட் அதர் மீடியா சச் எஸ் காயின்ஸ் ரிங்ஸ் எட்ஸெட்ரா ஓகே the development of script marks the beginning of the historical period when they found the writing methodology that should start the what is that historical period begins that among the tamil brahmi inscriptions is played the major role for the early tamil society it is it have been found in more than 30 sites in tamil nadu mostly on the cave surfaces and rock shelters these caves were the abodes of monks thuravigal okay mostly jains okay jaina monks the natural caves were converted into residences by cutting a drip line to keep rain water away from the cave inscriptions often uh, occur below such drip lines okay the sites have smooth stone bed available for the bed they have created uh, what is that A stone bed also carved on uh, rock surface for the monks who led a simple life and lived in this shelters for that merchants and kings converted this natural formations as habitation for monks right mostly who had renounced uh, worldly life mangulam and then muttu uh, muttupatti pugalur arachalur and கொங்கர் கொங்கர் புளியங்குளம் ஐ திங்க் ஸோ யா கொங்கர் புளியங்குளம் அண்டு ஜம்பை ஜம்பை நியர்பை சத்தியமங்கலம் ஆர் சம் ஆஃப் த மேஜர் சைட்ஸ் ஆஃப் கேவ்ஸ் வித் தமிழ் பிராமி இன்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன்ஸ் அரவுண்ட் மதுரை மெனி சச் கேவ்ஸ் வித் தமிழ் பிராமி இன்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன்ஸ் கேன் ஸ்டில் வி ஆர் சீன் தட் மெனி ஆஃப் தெம் ஆர் லொக்கேட்டட் அலாங் ஏன்ஷியன் ட்ரேட் ரூட்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ வி வில் நோட்டீஸ் தட் அமாங் த வேர்ல்ட் இன்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன்ஸ் Uh, people i mean the both the local people as well as the tourist people have marked their uh, names uh, thereby destroying some of the ancient descriptions also inscriptions also such acts as uh, uh, destruction destroying of heritage property or property belonging to others are called vandalism okay this is called as what is that vandalism i mean destroying the old inscriptions next one hero stones what is meant by hero stones hero stones are the memorials erected created for those who lost their lives in the battles in cattle raids okay <clears throat> as cattle were considered an important source of wealth raiding cattle owned by adjoining tribes and clan clans means group okay was common practice in pastoral society pastoral society during the sangam age the mullai landscape followed the pastoral way of life during the sangam age tribal chief time leader tribal leader plundered the cattle wealth plundered you know very well looting kollai edithal the cattle wealth of <coughs> enemies whose warriors fought to protect their cattle many warriors died in such battles and were remembered as martyrs memorial stones were erected in their honor sangam literature Uh, vividly uh, portrays these battles and uh, what is the clashes and describes such uh, st- uh, stones as what is the hero stones and uh, ob- as objects of worship also tulkapiyam describes the procedure of uh, erecting hero stones okay hero stones of the sangam age with tamil brahmi inscriptions can be found at uh, puliyam kombai okay and uh, tadapatti in theri district and uh, potpanai kotai in pudukote district you have seen the still now that is available for those of the sangam age discovered till now do not have images or what is that sculptures hero stones of the post sangam age and the pallava period 
occur in large number of pastoral regions especially around the chengam region near tirunamalai right still it is available for that these hero stones have inscriptions and the images of various and names of heroes okay inscriptions on pottery i mean pottery vessels from the early historic period have names of people engraved that is written on them in the tamil brahmi script all right and then pot sheds pot sheds have been discovered in arikkamedu alaganakulam kodumanal keeladi you know the very well half and half just we are uh, uh, heard the news about the keeladi now the archaeological excavations are going on that okay we have found several uh, materials that was used by our ancient people uh, that was found in the keeladi near by pudukottai in pudukottai district also in tamil nadu okay pottery inscribed with the names in tamil brahmi script have also been found what is it bernic and guzer kuhaming in egypt egypt also it is found that and in kor uh, rori in oman egypt oman indicating the early tamils had trade contacts with west asia and along the red sea coast our tamil people had made the trade with our country with what is it our state with another countries also that shows shown in that pottery people etched their names that is written carved out their names on pottery to indicate ownership many of the names are in tamil and while some are in prakrit prakrit is one of the language nothing but was the language used by the common people in the northern part of india during the mayurian period okay next one is archaeological site or which is nothing but archaeological excavation tholburul arachi refers to systematically digging a site to recover material evidence for exploring and interpreting societies of the past okay archaeological excavations at the early historic sites are the source of evidence of the activities of sangam age people right excavations at arikkamedu alaganakulam urayur kanjipuram kaveri pombattinam and korkai okay and uh, vasudevanallur actually vasava samudram uh, keeladi கொடுமணல் இன் தமிழ்நாடு அண்டு பட்டணம் இன் கேரளா பட்டணம் இன் கேரளா ப்ரொவைட் த எவிடன்ஸ் வி ஹவ் எவிடன்ஸ் வி ஹவ் ஆஃப் திஸ் பீரியட் ஓகே அண்ட் தென் அரிக்கமேடு நியர் புதுச்சேரி இஸ் அ சங்கம் ஏஜ் போர்ட் எக்ஸ்கவேட்டட் பை த ஆர்கியாலஜிக்கல் சொசைட்டி ஆஃப் ஆர்கியாலஜிக்கல் சர்வே ஆஃப் இந்தியா ஆர்கியாலஜிக்கல் சர்வே ஆஃப் இந்தியா இந்தியா விச் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் ஏஎஸ்ஐ ஏஎஸ்ஐ ஓகே Uh, british archaeologist robert eric uh, mortimer robert eric mortimer uh, wheeler french archaeologist j m castle in uh, and indian archaeologist a gosh a gosh his name is called as a gosh and krishna deva excavated this site they found evidence of planned town where houses and streets tanks and ring walls okay see the archaeological survey of india is a central government agency that you know very well that manages archaeological sites and monuments in india you know which thing the even though just you know very well than tanjur big temple no that was also under the control of the archaeological survey of india the government of tamil nadu has its own department for archaeology called tamil nadu state department of archaeology tamil nadu state department of archaeology and then the indian treasure trove act of 1878 the antiquities act of treasures act of 1972 the ancient monuments okay and the archaeological sites and remains act of 1958 or the legislation related to the preservation of archaeological remains in india and then material culture what is material culture see archaeologists have found evidence of brick structures and industrial activities as well as artifact as well as what is that artifacts such as beds bangles kemus uh, intaglios and other material in this sites tamil brahmi inscriptions on pottery and coins have also been unearthed evidences of the various arts crafts and industries together help us to reconstruct the way of life of the people on those times okay from this we learn and understand how they might they lived for that with the help of the sources for that okay uh, that cameo which is nothing but that is an ornament right made in the precious stone that intaglio is also nothing but an ornament which images are carved as uh, 
rises below the surface a uh, next one important source is nothing but coins coins as a medium of uh, exchange coins as a medium of what is that exchange but introduced for the first sangam age the coins of the cheras cholas and pandyas panchrumar coins okay panchrumar coins and roman coins from another important source of evidence in the sangam age right see panchrumar coins panchrumar coins have been found at kodumanal and bodi naiknor nearby thani bodi naiknor uh, roman coins also concentrated in the koyamuthur region and found at alagankulam karur madurai they were used as uh, uh, bullion uh, bullion for their metal value and as ornaments bullion means precious metal available in the form of uh, what is that ingots like as coins panchmar coins is nothing but are the earliest coins used in india they are mostly made of silver and have numerous symbols punched on them that's why that is called as panchmar coins hence they are known as panchmar coins okay then what are the non tamil sources what are the non tamil sources which is nothing but foreign accounts see non tamil uh, literary sources also offer information on the early tamil society okay not only for our material archaeological sites coins inscriptions uh, old tamil uh, what is that uh, books or the magazines for that in addition to that non tamil sources is also provide the uh, information about the, what is that early tamil society okay the presence of the non tamil sources reveals shown the extensive contacts and interactions of the early tamil society with the outside world okay among that artha shastra is one of the important one that you know very well it's a classic work on economy and state of the uh, authored by kaudalya is it okay during the mauryan period refers to the uh, refers to pandya kavataka it may mean the pearl and shells from the pandyan country next one is mahavamsa the sri lankan buddhist chronicle composed in the pali language mentions merchants and horse traders from tamil nadu and south india <coughs> okay chronicle is a narrative text presenting the important historical event in chronological order okay here by which is come which comes first which goes next something else and then periplus of erthian sea erthian sea periplus of erthian sea is an ancient greek text Uh, whose author is not known actually unknown the term periplus means navigational guide nowadays we are using a gps system no the same thing it was used in the many years ago and the old days also used by sailors erythrean sea refers to the waters around the red sea it makes the references to the sangam age ports of musuri tondi korkai and kumari as well as the cheras and the pandyas okay then pliny's natural history that is one of the sources we are having that pliny the elder was a roman who wrote natural history written in latin language it's a text on natural wealth on roman empire pliny speaks about the pepper trade with india he states that it took 40 days to reach india from the uh, ozilis near the what is that north east africa if the southwest monsoon winds was favorable he also uh, it is favorable it is favorable it, it's possible to do the trade for that he also mentions that the pandyas of madurai controlled the port of bakar on the kerala coast which is in the kerala coast the current name of bakar is not known actually there is no evidences for that pliny uh, describes the loss of roman wealth due to the uh, rome's pepper trade with india in with india indication of the huge volume of the pepper that was traded okay then ptolemy's geography ptolemy's uh, geography is a gazetteer and the atlas of roman times providing geographical details of the roman empire in the second century ad kaveri pumbatnam korkai and then what is that kanyakumari okay and then musuri are some of the places mentioned in this geography right and then putingarian table from the table we came to know about the uh, map of the roman roads okay it shows the areas of ancient tamilagam and the port of musuri right and then vienna papyrus that is also one of the source for that vienna papyrus as a greek uh, document uh, document datable to the second century ad second century ad mentions musuri's uh, trade of golden days for that it is in pandyas museum attached to the austrian national library vienna now also it is available for that it contains a written agreement between traders 
and mentions the name of your ship okay and the hermopolon and the list the articles of the exports such as pepper and ivory that were shipped from india to the roman empire papyrus is just nothing but a paper okay produced out of the papyrus plant used extensively for writing purpose in the ancient egypt okay now come to the sangam age main heading the okay, important period in the history of south india in the history of what is that south india this period is marked out from prehistory prehistory because of the availability of textual sources namely sangam literature and tamil brahmi inscriptions okay sangam text is a vast biggest corpus collection of literature that serves text is a vast text is a important source of the study of the people and the society of the relevant period relevant period okay then come to the chronology that is order order okay there is considerable debate quarrel among the scholars and the age of chronology of sangam society the sangam texts are generally uh, dated to between the between the 3rd century bc okay uh, that is before christ the references in greco roman text tamil brahmi inscriptions and the references to the cheras cholas pandyas in the ashokan inscription what is it collaborate this date collaborate this date it is generally accept that the sangam poems were composed written in the early part of the historical period but were compiled into anthologies in the later period right uh, then the tinai what is tinai tinai concept of tinai is presented in the tamil grammar work of tolkapiyam and this concept is essential must to understand the classical tamil poems okay tinai is a poetic theme basically tinai is a poetic theme which means a class or category class or category and refers to habitat okay or eco zone biology just you have studied no eco zone with a specific physiographical characteristics right sangam poems are set in these specific eco zones and reveal that human life has deep relationship with nature okay the themes of the poems are broadly defined as agam that it means interior puram that means exterior interior exterior agam puram agathinai okay and purathinai agathinai refers to various situations of love and family life okay with purathinai is concerned with all uh, aspects of life deals particularly with war and heroism okay the five actually one uh, aindinai five things are landscapes okay tamilagam was divided into five landscapes i already told you kurunji mullai marudam neidal palai isn't it okay uh, kurunji refers to the hilly and mountainous region you know very well mullai is a, what is that forested land okay and the pastoral region marudam is the fertile river in valley neidal is a coastal region palai is a sandy desert region isn't it okay this is called as aindinai that based on the concept of what is that tinai then sangam age politics i mean the political powers of the tamilagam see the sangam age has its roots in the iron age okay when the iron age started no from that the sangam age has started that in the iron age people uh, were organized into chiefdoms i mean chiefdoms is nothing but local leader or the tribal leader or their captain maybe from such communities of iron age emerged created what is that the vendas vendas move in there you know very well of early historic period and the valleys of sangam age were chief times the mayurian emperor asoka conquered kalinga and the parts of andhra karnataka regions okay uh, move in there who are move in this among the political powers of the sangam age cheras cholas pandyas occupied the pre important positions is not okay they were known as move in the three kings move in there control the major towns and ports of sangam period you know very well uh, among that cheras cheras refer to kerala putras kerala region kerala putras in ashoka inscription control the region of present day kerala and also the western parts of tamil nadu okay vanji was their capital and cheras while musuri and tondi were their port towns right vanji is identified with karur in tamil nadu at present okay while some others identify in with tiruvanjai kolam <coughs> in kerala paditrupadu paditrupattu okay in from the song just we are here no speaks about the chera king and their and their proper and their territory and their garlands made from the flowers of palm tree the cheras wore garlands made from the flowers of the palm tree 
the inscriptions of pugadur near karur mention the chera kings of three generations okay coins of chera kings have been found in karur also the selapadigaram speaks about chera and sengutuvan you know very well the famous king uh, who built the var kannagi uh, what is it patronic of the epic legend has is that ilango who composed the selapadigaram was the brother of chera and sengutuvan the bow and arrows was a symbol of chera right then cholas Cholas ruled over Kaveri Delta and the northern part of Tamil Nadu their capital was Urayur and their port town was Kaveri Pumbattam or Pumbuhar all right where the river Kaveri drains into Bay of Bengal is not okay Pachina Pala is a long poem about Kaveri Pumbattam composed by the poet Kadayalu Uruthiran Kannadar okay Selapadigaram describes the trading activities of the Kaveri Pumbattam thus Kariyanan is the notable among the Chola kings is credited with bringing forest forest lands under the plough and developing irrigation facilities effectively utilizing the water river from kaveri kallanai he built the kallanai you know very well okay that was the oldest dam found in the oldest dam found in world okay uh, the foundation for the extensive harnessing of water in the irrigation purposes which reached its zenith in the later chola uh, times was laid in his time kariyalan fought battles with pandyas and cheras and other chief tribes local leaders the chola emblem was tiger and they issued square copper coins with images of tiger on the azure elephant and the sacred symbols on the rivers okay third one is pandyas the pandyas who ruled the southern part of tamil nadu are referred in the ashokan inscription okay madurai was the pandyas capital tamil literary tradition credits pandyan rulers with patronizing tamil sangams Uh, and which means academies okay and supporting the uh, compilations of poems compilations of poems the mangulam tamil brahmi inscription mentions the king of nedunjaliyan nedunjaliyan okay famous king of the pandyas and then nediyon uh, okay and then muditirumaran uh, okay were some of the important rulers of the dynasty pandyan dynasty the pandyan symbol was the fish just you know very well and next one goes for the valleys and the local rulers are the chief tribes apart from bandas there were valleys and numerous chief tribes leaders who occupied the territories on the margins of the move in there the valleys were seven pari kari ori nalli bahan ai adiyama okay sangam poems write extens extensively about the uh, generosity of these valleys these chiefs had intimate relations with the poets of their time and were known for what is that their large hazardous nan kodi okay these chief tribes had alliance with one or other of the movender and helped them in the battles against the other bandas right so what about the society in the sangam age see many of the communities of the iron age society uh, were organized as tribes and some of them were chief dams uh, okay the sangam age society was a society in a transition from a tribal community ruled by a chief to larger kingdom ruled by a king right okay chief to a larger kingdom ruled by a king uh, what will be the structure of the society social stratification aduk okay had begun to take root in tamil society by the sangam times uh, there were several clan based group based communities including the groups such as ponar okay paradavar ini ini inar ulavar kanavar vetuvar and maravar some of the several groups may be available on those days the vandas chiefs and their associates formed higher social groups okay there were priests who were known as andanas andanas andanargal uh, there were artisan groups specializing in the pottery and blacksmithy the caste system we find in the northern india did not take root in tamil country as a special groups were divided into five situational types are related to occupational pattern occupational pattern the development of agriculture and the pastoral ways of life might have harmed the ecosystem and the naturally available forest and wild animals it is possible that some of the hunter gatherers might have been pushed to the forest areas forest areas and a few might have taken up the Uh, occupation of uh, manual labors occupation of what is that manual labors the development of agriculture in the wetland region depend on the use of certain groups people 
as laborers okay then what about the uh, stage of women or position of women for that women are frequently referred in tamil texts such as mothers uh, heroines and the foster mothers friendly women from poorer families mostly okay and dancers poets and royal women were all portrayed in the sangam literature there are references to women from all five ecosons for example uh, venni kuyathiyar venni kuyathiyar okay is identified as a poetess from the village of venni there are references to women protecting uh, tinai field from birds and the women are kula women are kula women selling salt showing the women were involved in primary production also instances where women preferred to die along with their husbands also occur in the literature time okay what about their economy the economy was mixed as elaborated in tinai concept okay people practiced agriculture pastoralism trade money exchange apra hunting and then hunting gathering and the fishing depending upon the eco zones which they are lived right agriculture production what are the agricultural productions for that crops like paddy sugar cane millets were cultivated okay mostly right and what will be the industries for that craft production and craft specialization was the important aspects of urbanization in the sangam age there were professional groups that produced various commodities the system of production of commodities is called industry right pottery also practiced in many settlements people used to pottery produced by produced on those days in their daily activities okay and so they were made a large number of uh, large numbers also black ware russet coated painted ware black and red ware pottery are the different types of uh, pottery they used for that okay and then um, one of the major important industries something but iron smelting industry that's iron manufacturing was an important uh, artisanal activity that too also they used for that okay from that they uh, manufactured swords daggers and what is that spears also okay and those things for that gold jewelry is also used by the people in the old age people that is gold ornaments were well known uh, in this period gold coins from roman was used to make jewelry evidence of gold smelting has been uh, found at patnam in kerala patnam in kerala as well as uh, adichanallur kodumanal arikkamedu keeladi and patnam okay then glass beds is also used by the people glass beds is nothing but sites reveals the people of the sangam to new uh, how to make glass beds glass material was melted in a furnace and drawn into long tubes which were uh, then cut into small uh, beds okay glass beds came in various shapes and in color that too also they used for that our next one is pearl uh, fishery and the shell bangle <coughs> pearl fishery and shell bangle the palmon coast is famous for uh, where is the rameshwaram pearl fishery the pearl has been discovered in recently excavated keeladi site also shell bangles were very common in the sangam age okay the bardavas the people those who are living nearby the coast areas know they are called as bardavas uh, collected conch shells from the palmon island which were cut and crafted into bangles by artisans okay whose shells as well as fragments uh, of bangles have been found at many sites okay uh, that's one of the important thing then from the textile field textile production was another important occupation evidence of spindle awls wheels and pieces of cloth have been found at kodumanal literature too uh, refers to the cloths called kalingam okay uh, and then exchange of trade merchants and trade routes we saw the primary production of grains uh, cattle wealth and various commodities okay these goods were not produced these goods were not produced by everybody and were not produced in all settlements okay resources and commodities were not available in all regions for example the hill region did not uh, have fish or salt okay and the coastal regions could not produce what is that paddy therefore the trade and the exchange was what is that important for people to have across their different communities right this system was was known as what is that barter system the things which is not available they can exchange their goods for that salt then paddy paddy to salt to salt to paddy like that the traders is called as vanigan or nigama vanigan or nigama appear in the tamil brahmi inscriptions there were different types of merchants gold merchant cloth merchant salt merchant and what is that were called womanas womanas their name is called as womanas 
they traveled in bullock carts along with their family what were the transport that was used in those days of the early tamil society bullock carts and animals were used to transport goods by land trade routes linked with various towns of tamil nadu there is no doubt at all various types of water crafts and sea going vessels such as kalam uh, pari uh, odam thoni tappam and navai also mentioned the tamil literature right and the barter was the primary mode of the exchange there is no doubt at all exchange in the goods from uh, another goods for that okay and then it was a uh, salt was the precious and a handful uh, of it would fetch an equal amount of rice equal to equal amount of rice okay and then uh, tamilagam and overseas interaction tamilagam and overseas interaction tamil country had connections with the countries overseas both in the east and the west okay then roman ships also used uh, used monsoon winds to cross the uh, western sea or the arabian sea right western sea or the arabian sea uh, same thing tamil nadu to the red coast is also possible indian zar with the 75 kg of pepper tea could and portrait with the tamil brahmi inscriptions and uh, indian pottery have been found okay indian pottery have been found discovered at where is that red sea of egypt red sea coast of egypt right uh, those things for that these are the important concepts in the early tamil society and then a stone with uh, uh, perum patana kal has been found at uh, where is it thailand thailand also southeast asia was known as suravan bhumi in tamil literature this stone was used by a person called perum patan perum patan probably a goldsmith it was a touch stone used by test the purity of the gold all right and several towns were emerged several towns were emerged and the ports is also emerged for that the sangam age saw the first urbanization in tamilagam cities developed and they had brick building uh, roof tiles ring bells and planted towns streets and storehouses the towns worked as a ports and the artisanal centers okay from there arikamedu kaveri kumbatnam alaganpulam and korkai uh, urayur kanjipuram karur madurai so and so many goods and commodities were produced and these centers were exported to various regions also though a few number of large towns appeared in the sangam age okay large towns in the sangam age uh, small villages however were found in many areas uh, bronze vessels beds shell bangles glass beds pottery uh, with the names of people written in tamil brahmi script were found at these sites also okay uh, mostly pattanam in kerala kodumanal in tamil nadu right and then keeladi near madurai uh, that those are the places are very very important for them okay and uh, faith and belief system faith and belief system see like the diverse different kinds of nature of the society and economy the belief system of the sangam age was also diverse different it consists of animism ancestor worship and hero worship and the worship of several deities several leaders tulkapiyam list to presiding deities of kurunji mullai marudam neidal palai landscapes as murugan tirumal indiran varunan what is it godavari respectively however people also worshiped natural forces and dead heroes and ancestors the force of what is it anangu is mentioned in the literature which indicates the prevalence of what is it, animistic beliefs animistic beliefs jainism was also present as evidence in the caves with the tamil brahmi inscriptions okay then from the fine art side various art form to exist at the sangam age uh, performance of ritual dances called what is that variatal that is called as variatal or referred in the literature composition of poems playing of music instruments and dances are also known the literature mentions uh, the fine variety of cuisine uh, at the sangam age okay people took care of uh, their appearance uh, what is it took care of appearance and evidence of uh, antimony rods made of copper has been found in archaeological sites they were used uh, by women for decorating their eyebrows also eyebrows also uh, several things as we have seen that so finally uh, from this lesson you learned that primary production and the exchange and the social relationship in the landscape and the mercantile activities across the seas led to the urbanization and development of culture <coughs> paving the way for the development of literature during that period the text were compiled through tamil academies i mean sangam age at later date 
the tinai concept is a distinct classification of land and people as elaborated in the tulkapiyam the sangam age witnessed the transition from tribal society to kingdom centered polities seaborne trade with the indian ocean regions developed larger towns with buildings made of bricks appeared in the tamil country the society was differ in nature okay so these are the things you have learned from the lesson of 9th standard history okay yearly tamil society okay students go through the lesson carefully and if you have doubt uh, just you call me or uh, send through the messages to whatsapp we'll meet again thank you